Well, now, a 12-year-old girl from Essex is in desperate need of a bone marrow transplant and is appealing for people to join the register. Libby Watts from Buckhurst Hill was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia in October. The pandemic means tests to find a match for Libby are being limited or delayed, as Katie Barnfield reports. My headaches have been getting much worse and they're getting more and they're hurting more. This is now 12-year-old Libby's life. Every week, she spends hours in hospital getting transfusions just to keep her alive. Libby was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia um, back in October. It's basically bone marrow failure. Now she's just surviving on blood transfusions, platelet transfusions um, to keep going. She needs a bone marrow transplant, which could give her back a normal life. Just before Christmas, they thought they'd found a donor. Any pain or anything? You feel anything? Does it feel cold? cold? Yeah. But delays because of the pandemic meant tests took longer to come back. And at the very last minute, it turned out not to be a match. She's missing out on her schoolwork. You know, she loves playing hockey at school, netball, riding a bike. There's things like that she just can't do because if she falls over, she could have an accident which could cause internal bleeding. I used to do a little bit of horse riding and I couldn't do that anymore either. A bit hard, a bit annoying as well, watching my friends do it and then me just sitting on the sideline and cheering them on. They're now raising money for the charity Anthony Nolan, who are trying to help them find a match. As you can probably see, I'm having a blood transfusion now. Libby has also been documenting her hospital trips on Instagram to show what it's like living with her condition and encourage more donors to come forward. Thank you for all the love and support. I love you guys so much. Oh, she's so strong. She's my hero. She's she's been the strongest out of everyone. Um, I think she's I think she's cried once the whole the whole process. I think she's kept the family together really with it all. But knowing that she's okay, we've all been okay. I always try to think on the positive side because when you think of the negative side, like the worse it gets to you. It don't matter what you've got. Try live your life as best as you can. Libby's blood test this week showed her platelet count has dropped again, making finding a donor more crucial than ever. But she's staying hopeful that one day soon she'll have her life back again. Katie Barnfield, ITV News.